loud. All right, this is all sliding. But my face is loud. Okay, um, number six, we've got Earth. That, that's Earth. Um, we have a satellite. That's a satellite. Aren't I a great artist? Um, and it's in circular orbit around Earth. The word orbit means some special things are happening. That means it's moving in a circular path. And it means that it's not speeding up or slowing down. Um, the only change in velocity comes from changing direction. Um, this should, sorry, I'm playing the ukulele with my toes. Um, this should sound familiar. This should be like, oh, it's a centripetal acceleration problem. And it is. Um, this time the, the centripetal force is caused by gravity. So we can set them equal to each other. So mv squared over r equals big G m1 m2 over r squared. Do they always equal each other? No. Um, but they equal each other when something's in orbit. So that's handy. So we're wondering, what is the radius of the satellite's orbit? Well, um, the, mass of the, uh, the mass of the satellite is on both sides, so that cancels out. Um, the velocity they gave us, you know what, we're not going to plug numbers in yet. We're wondering, what is r? So let's clean this up a little bit. We got v squared equals big G m2 over r squared. Instead of doing like divided by r, I want to multiply by r on both sides and stick it over here. That way you can clearly see that like that r cancels out with one of these r's. So we have v, what's the, oh no, we need what's the radius. B, v squared equals big G m2 over r. I'm going to swing it back over. So r times v squared equals big G times m2. Be really careful that your m2 doesn't become an m squared. The two is just like a label. It's like the mass of the second thing. It's not like multiply the mass by itself. That's a really different thing. That's like m2 um, not m squared. That's not what we're saying. Okay, um, what's the radius? Sorry. r equals big G m2 divided by v squared. Let's do this. Big G is 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11. The mass of planet Earth is huge. 5.97 times 10 to the 24. How did they find a scale that big? And the velocity is 6,000 meters per second. Let's try this. Oh, squared. It's squared. Okay. So 6.67 6 e negative 11 times 5.97 e 24. Divided by 6,000, divided by 6,000. Oh, that's a tricky number. I gotta count it. So it's like one. Okay, so my calculator, full disclosure, I forgot to put it in scientific mode. So it says one, one, oh, six, one, oh, eight, three, point three. So here's what we gotta do. We gotta move it over. So scientific notation says it's like the decimal has to be right here. So we're gonna do 1.1 1. 1 times 10 to the something. So let's see how many somethings. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven to the seven. I won't put one to the seven. Hey, that's a nice choice.